I haven't seen her in two years. No, this just me it still doesn't feel real. I mean, I'm outside of this fence right now, but it still doesn't feel real. I mean, just coming out of this tent, I still had to ask. I was still asking, where do I go? Can I go? Can I leave? And they're like, you can just go. And that's an amazing feeling to be able to, to just do what I want. I'm home, I'm home, I'm home. I'm going home. God bless you. God bless. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, really important that we recognize the opportunities that are available today. It's important that we understand the work that has went into trying to help the individuals that are being released to be successful citizens, to go back to their families, to be mothers and fathers and, and wives and husbands, or wives, not husbands in this situation, but wives and husbands. And so across the state of Oklahoma, you know, maybe, maybe I need to bring you up here and let you take over. <laughs> Makes you tear up, giving hope and giving people second chances. It's unbelievable. You know, for the past uh, several months, uh, my wife Sarah had an idea to bring job fairs inside the prison. It's never been done before. Over the last couple months, uh, 28 job fairs took place. Over 700 people, not only in this commutation, but also folks that were within six months of getting out of prison, could come meet churches and nonprofits and talk about housing and education and jobs, and you're gonna hear more about that because we really want you to have a successful future. And that's what I wanna leave you with, is this is the first day of the rest of your life. You know, you're gonna have ups and downs. Even me as governor, did you know we have ups and downs in life? And everybody behind me. And so I encourage you, uh, just to, uh, that there's so many nonprofits, churches, mentors, friends. You heard the Department of Corrections Executive Director talk about, we want to help you. We want to get you plugged in, whether you need housing, education, um, you know, access to, um, you know, good paying jobs. I know the, uh, the, the Alliance for Manufacturing Alliance is there to help plug you in. Uh, so we're so excited to, to help you. Please reach out when you need help. Uh, this is really a second chance for each and every one of you. And I want to challenge you because you know that there are there will be tough times ahead. But your kids, your family, your future, everything depends on you getting tough and making sure that you uh, get the help that you need so you do not come back here and make the same mistakes uh, that have happened in the past. It moves my heart because I know you guys are getting a second chance and you're getting an opportunity to take life back. And I'm so excited for you. And when they told me this, in fact, the way I feel is the way that little boy keeps cheering yay inside. I want to scoop up and down and say yay. But when they told me about this a couple of months ago, I was very excited. But um, the wheels in my head started turning and I thought, Okay, we can't just shake your hand, pat you on the back, and say, have a good life. Because we know the barriers to re-entry into society are difficult. There's a lot of slam doors. There's a lot of hard things to come around. And I began to talk to other people, and they began to second that. And so we came up with this idea of a re-entry fair. And I will tell you, I was still getting texts on Friday from people in the community saying, how can I help? How can I be one of those services that's offered to people being released? So I want you to know, I'm here today to tell all of you, each and every one of you, that Oklahomans are ready to surround you and help you have a successful life here in our state. Stephanie, uh, tell us uh, how, you, how you're feeling today after being released. I feel great. I'm, I mean, I could have been on probation for like nine years, and this has been a blessing. <laughs> How, how long were you serving? I, I was serving a 10-year sentence on a possession charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when you heard the news of this, what was, what was your reaction when you first heard that you were going to be one that was eligible I was to get excited. out? I am excited. I'm very mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. And are you from Oklahoma? Yes, sir. And, and where are you going home to? Shawnee. Shawnee. And what are, you, what are your plans from here? 
Um, to get a job and, and get established and be a productive part of society. Huh? I got my GED in here and I started doing college classes in here, so I plan to pursue my education. I want to do communications. I had an uncle who worked in communications and I'm really interested in that. Personally, photography or like journalism. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, okay. Okay. Just kind of chill out for a little bit, just kind of shake off this incarceration and just learn to live life. Just not take anything for granted. Oh my gosh, it is a blessing and it's mind blowing. Like, this is really happening. This really happened, and I'm a part of history and it sucks how it happened, but I'm happy and grateful to be a part of this, this new movement that's going on through Oklahoma. Because what that moment was like when you were reunited with them oh, outside the Gosh, football. it felt like a dream come true. It's something that I've been waiting for for a long time. Just to be able to embrace them as long as I could. Oh my gosh, I haven't eaten at Olive Garden, so I'm hoping my family will take me to Olive Garden. I've never been, so I hear great things about the Red States. So. <laughs> that's what I'm excited to do.